What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Prima Arena meta team for Regulation H. So, as you guys know, Regulation H rank goes live in just a couple of days. So, this is why I want to bring you guys a meta team, not a fun gimmicky team, something that's really strong that you guys can rent, maybe push Master to with when Regulation H goes live. But let's talk about this team a little bit. We got Whimsicott for support. Obviously, you can set Tailwind, and it's Encore and Light Screen. And then we got Titar and Garchomp combo. Really strong combo, sets a Sandstorm, does big time damage. T-Tar's got the Life Orb, and Garchomp's got the Choice Band. We're also rocking out with Primarina today, who I'm super excited to be back in the meta with Liquid Voice and Safety Goggles. It's got Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Energy Ball, and Protect. Just such a solid Pokemon all across the board. Our final two Pokemon on today's team features Corviknight and Hisuian Arcanine. Corviknight, big bulky Pokemon with Iron Defense, Body Press, Brave Bird, and Roost. And Arcanine is going to be a super fast Pokemon with Rock Head as its ability instead of Intimidate, the Choice Scarf as item, and it's got Wild Charge, Rock Slide, Flutter Blitz, and Head Smash. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into the first match showcasing this meta team. Going up against a Trick Room team here in match number one that features Cloth, the little crab Pokemon that you never see on the ladder. They also have Annihilate, Torkoal, Arm Rouge, and Didi, and Doug Trio. Okay, this should be a little tough for us considering Sun could be a problem. Um, what else could be a problem? Arm Rouge and Indeedee can be a problem. So I might just want to lead like Garchomp with Choice Band and maybe bring in like Incineroar. I mean, I could go into like Head Smash Arcanine. That's not a bad point for us. But I feel like we have to just be able to get after this trick room right off the rip. I could start bulking my defense, but a lot of them are special attacking, so I don't know how that can go down. I do have Cobra Cloak with you, but and Encore. But the problem here is like, oh, I do have Light Screen. Light Screen's not a bad play. The problem here is Psychic Terrain. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. The problem is Psychic Terrain. And I think just going into like, honestly, T-Tar Garchomp might be our best play. Yeah, I'm going T-Tar Garchomp here. So T-Tar Garchomp are going to come out here for our lead. Um, I'm going to bring Prima Arena for late game. And I think going in with Choice Scarf Arcanine could be solid here as well. Actually, Corviknight could be good. I'm going to go Corviknight instead. Arcanine would be awesome, especially if we can waste out Trick Room. But if we don't waste out Trick Room, Corviknight is definitely the better option. We'll see what they want to do. We'll see how they want to play this one. But I think match number one is going to be super tough for us using this team. I really do. If they get off Trick Room, oh man, Trick Room is just a, a big time threat to us. It's just a monster threat. Let's see what they got cooking here. It's going to be Annihilate and Shiny Cloth, who looks awesome. I love it. So, obviously, they could switch into Torkoal. And if they do switch into Torkoal, I mean, you're going to be, get hit. You're going to be getting hit hard. Because I'm going to go for an EQ here. And on top of that, I'm going to Terrasalize into Flying. I think that's just their best option. And I'm going to launch it into this slot with Flying Terra. I'm, I'm cool with this. If you swap into Torkoal, go for it. Go for it. I don't really know what Cloth does, so I'm kind of scared. Does it learn Beat Up? Could be a possibility. But, oh my god, I didn't even think of... I oh know we're fine. I was going to say. I was going to say, Annihilate can probably just, like, Drain Punch me and KO my T-Tar. But I forgot I'm Terrasalizing. I'm Flying type. Drain Punch don't do damage to me. It'll do a little bit, but nothing crazy. It's a big time terror coming out from us. Garchomp, T-Tar combo, ready to roll. And it's Choice Band Garchomp and Life Orb T-Tar. These guys are here for damage. These guys are here for damage. And he's going to go for an Endure here. So he's going to Endure this first turn. I'm launching EQ, so I'm going to bring this thing down to 1 HP. Actually, you're going for EQ. That's fine. That's a fine turn. He's going to Anger Shell up. His attack boost is going to go crazy. Special attack and speed. So he's boosting all of them. That's actually a scary little Pokemon. His defense is going to drop. But this thing's endured right now. This thing is endured. I wish I would have... Actually, no. This is actually a good turn for us. But still, Cloth's just chilling here on the field. I wish it took Sandstorm damage. This thing's terrifying. But I wonder who he's going to attack here. That's my real problem. Who does he attack? Because we get rid of Annihilate. But now this thing's sitting here bulked up on speed. Cloth is scaring me, man. He's scaring me a lot. He is scaring me. I feel like you got to go after Garchomp here. I feel like you have to go after Garchomp. Let's see who he throws out. It's going to be Indeedy. So this is more of a follow me play right here. Definitely follow me play. Um, I'm choice banned, so you know what? I'm just gonna send this, and I'm just gonna send a uh, a knockoff into the indie slot. I'm gonna send it into the cloth slot just in case. Follow me, just come out here. And what are you eating? Got a Kusat berry as well. 
Oh, Lord Lin's trash slides. This is scary. It's probably flying terror as well. It's probably perfectly flying terror. This thing's going nuclear. No, it's gonna be rock. Okay. So I'm gonna say bye bye to my T Tar. If I get rid of cloth for T Tar, I'm really fine with this turn. Show me and follow me, I guess. Rock slide's gonna launch. Oh no. This is terrifying. Garchomp, or eat this. Okay, Garchomp and T-Tar eat it. Okay, I, th I thought this thing was just going to go nuclear. It just really rip into me. Of course, I flinched. Luckily, I did double down into the cloth. That's a massive turn for us. It's a massive turn for us. Luckily, I did double down into this Krabby Pokemon. That was scary. I, I give a round of applause to my opponent. Cool for them to go for that. And this thing is going to pop a Trick Room. So, Trick Room's finally here. Do they go into Torkoal is the real question. I feel like Armor's got to be the play. Of course I die out the buffets. Oh man, if it's Torkoal, we could be struggling here. If it is Torkoal, we could be struggling. Nice trick and pop for them. Hmm. I got Corvo. What do I go pre-marino with the safety goggles? I can protect this turn. Um I'm scared of armor cannon more so than anything. But you know, I'm just gonna go into you. It's gotta be armors, right? It's gotta be armors. You don't spring in DD without armors. Gonna be Torkoal. That's 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 terrible for us. That's terrible for us. That's really bad for us. Obviously, I want to go for the EQ. I'm choice into it anyway. And if I can, I'd love to launch a Raybird in a slap. But this is just not looking good. I'm dead. I lose this game all day. Yep. GGS. GG's, that's why I wanted my T-Tar to survive another turn, but the Buffets took it away. I was going to swap them, sacrifice Pokemon, and then go from there. But good Trick Room call on Indeedy. Cloth getting after it in match number one. Really cool combo that we got to see, but we're going to end up losing this one. The power of Trick Room goes crazy. The power of Trick Room goes crazy. Yeah, I really didn't have much I could do this that turn right there. I mean, not a lot of protects on the team, um, but I was choice as well. But yeah, there's really no point in us playing this one out. They got weather, they got everything. I'm just going to run this one. So GG to our opponent. Let's go hop to our second match. Look for a first win. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against another Trick Room squad. They got Hydrapple, they got Thesclops. They also have Scizor, Malamar, Amoongus, and Incineroar. So Intimidate could come out here turn one. I feel like they are going to lead an Intimidate Pokemon. Um, from here, though, I could lead, like, Corviknight and try to start boosting my defense. I think that's a good call for us. And I could also lead like Primarina. Or I could lead like Whimsicott here. Maybe Encore Pokemon. I like Whimsicott. Do I like Whimsicott? Not really. Actually, I do like Whimsicott. We're going to go Whimsicott. We're going to go Primarina here. I mean, not Primarina. Corv Knight. In the back end, we will bring Primarina though. I really do like this Pokemon. And last but not least, either T-Tar or Garchomp. Hmm. Looking at the team, I think Garchomp's going to be a little bit better. Especially with the Choice Band. He really only needs, like, one move to do massive amounts of damage. So, I'm looking to just kind of, like, boost up with uh, Corbinite here. If they intimidate me, that's fine. I mean, at that point, I'm just going to go into, like, Moonblast or something. If they go for Incineroar and, like, Dusclops, we'll just, you know, start chipping up some damage. Maybe set up a Light Stream. And then Encore that Dusclops up. That's more so what I want to do. So let's see who they go. They go Malamar and Incineroar. So, he's going to look to fake me out. Um, I got Cover Cloak. Mirror Armor's going to bounce. He's going to be minus one on attack, which is pretty good for us. Malamar, tad bit scary, but I am going to start boosting my defense here. Just a nice, lovely defensive boost with Iron Defense. So I'll go Iron Defense here and could go Tailwind. I could honestly just Moonblast this thing down, which I am going to do. So he's going to fake out my Corvo. You little biscuit. The fake out onto the Corvo Knight. Rocky Helmet actually does some nice damage to that. And Moonblast going to drop here, which does respectable damage. Half in it. We'll take that all day. And Trick Room does pop. So I'm going to actually Encore that thing in the Trick Room. Actually, I can't. You're Dark type. You're a Dark type Pokemon. You're a Dark type Pokemon. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go into another Iron Defense. It's just a good turn to go into. And from here. Could Hard Swap. And save it. Or I could just go for a. Moonblast, take out Malamar. How many special attackers do you have? You pop Trick Room, you gotta be bringing in like a Moongus or Hydra Apple. Do we set up a Light Stream? You know what? No, I'm just gonna go for the Moonblast and the Malamar. He's gonna end up going for Parting Shot. That's fine. I'm boosting my defense here. 
It's probably going for like maybe a superpower. I feel like this has got to be contrary to Malmar. And we'll see what he wants to do here. I'm hoping Moonblast still KOs, but with that, I don't know. There's Hydrapple, so Lightstream is going to be our friend here. So if I can get this thing boosted up on defense with... Nice little mirror armor here as well. Drop this thing evasiveness. It's going to drop mine, though. He's going to skill swap, so he's just dropping my evasiveness. Is that your plan? Do I just raise his evasiveness with Super Sweet Syrup? Is he contrary? No. And you actually, you don't have contrary anymore. That works out perfectly. So Iron Defense going to bulk us up. Mirror Armor went crazy this round so far. <laughs> Mirror Armor went deadly. And a Moon Blast going to launch. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Not enough. Now from here, I mean, might as well Brave Bird. And to be honest, I'm going to set up a light screen. More so than anything. I really want to make sure I get off this light screen. So I'm going to do that. So we're boosted up on defense plus two. We got body press ready to roll. We're wasting out trick room turns rather well. And we're going to see a terror type pop out here. This is definitely high drippy drapple. Maybe going into a steel type. Which I mean, I could just body press then at that point. If it's steel. And now it's going to be poison. So we're still going to be doing respectable damage with Brave Bird. Um... Poison, though. I guess you're looking to take out my Whimsicott. But I'm setting up Light Screen. A little bit of Light Screen action. Draco Meteor gonna launch here. Light Screen gonna help us out. And this does nothing. We soak that no problem. Oh, you got Contrary. Yeah, you gotta go. We gotta do something about him. We gotta do something about him. And now he's skill swapping me. I don't have this anymore. Now he gets Prankster. I get Super Sweet Syrup. And I'm just gonna raise this thing of this. Okay. It's, it's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. So, Evasiveness is going to raise. Brave Bird going to launch. Another Dragon Meteor will KO me, which is kind of sad to see. It is honestly sad to see. Um, I'm going to go for a Body Press, and I think just finishing off you is going to be your play. This thing's sitting plus two after Draco Meteor and Trick Room. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. But if I can get out Garchomp at the right time, I can just EQ away and pretty much just dominate this match. Hypnosis, really. Come on now. Come on now. Hypnosis. Really. Really. Not fun at all. Leaf Storm going to launch. We soak that rather than Draco Meteor, don't we? We do all day. And honestly, Body Press might... Might KO. Eh, I don't know. Get some damage off. We're wasting off Trick Room turns, which is huge. Body Press, yeah, not very effective. I thought it would do more damage than, than Brave Bird. Alright, so we're sitting here slowly but surely. Um, another Leaf Storm will KO us. He's sitting plus a lot. And we kind of have to wake up here. If not, they get off another Trick Room. So I'm going to double down to Malamar here. Where do I swap? I might swap Whimsicott into, like, Garchomp here. I think Hypnosis is going to come out here, and then they're going to look to pop another Trick Room. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to swap Whimsicott here. I'm going to go right into Garchomp. Because, like I said, if I can just get out Garchomp at the right time without Trick Room, we should be able to clean up a lot of these guys. And there's the Hypnosis. That's what I That's what I figured I see. I figured I see Hypnosis, and then they, they double down the Corbin Knight for the KO. Is that the right call? Yeah, cool. Great call from us. Great call from us. We get out Garchomp at the perfect time. Because I knew what they wanted to do. I knew they wanted to get Whimsicott asleep. Corviknight sleep and then reset the trick room. But now I'm sitting here with you. I could choice an EQ and pick up a double KO if I want to. But I mean, I can honestly just hyper voice and pick up a double KO. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cool. So now we're sitting here. We got both them low HP. I am going to go into a hyper voice here. And from here, what is our other Pokemon that they have? They have Incineroar. So, I mean, best bet would just be like swapping or choosing in the Stompy Tantrum and predicting who they're going to swap. And to be honest, it's probably going to be Incineroar. Or Hydrapple, so I'm going to double down to Hydrapple. Hydrapple protects. Man! Luckily, we are going for Hyper Voice, so I mean, KO should be fine. And they don't have Terra anymore. The Stompy Tantrum gets blocked. And Hyper Voice is going to finish off the Malamar. Unless you dodge it. Is your evasiveness up? No, it's, it's normal. Okay, get it on out here. Malamar, get on out my face. So we drop Malamar. Trick Room is going. Um, 
They can bring out Incineroar to fake out, but the problem here is with the fake out. I'm gonna double down into Hydra Apple. Yeah, there's Incineroar. I'm doubling down into Hydra Apple. And the reason I say that is because if you fake out my if you fake out my Garchomp, then Primarina is gonna KO the Hydra Apple. If you fake out my Primarina, then Garchomp is going to KO the Hydra Apple. The simple as that. It's as simple as that. So we'll double down to high drop. We just use protect too, so that's a pretty good turn for us. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with this. There's fake out in the Garchomp. And this is even better. I'd rather Primarina actually hit. Because Primarina is not minus one. And it's going to be super effective on Incineroar as well. So look at that damage. Sitting in a really good spot now. And we can pretty much win this game. We can pretty much win this game. So first match, we lost to a Trick Room Squad. Second match, we bounced back here. We learned from our mistakes. They do have Citrus Berry, but another shot. Either from Garchomp or my girl Primarina over here is going to take out this Incineroar no problem. I forgot we had Light Screen too. Light Screen was so helping us out, especially with the Waste Out Trick Room turns. Moon is going to be the final Pokemon. You can go for a Rage Powder. Hyper Voice is going to still pick up the KO onto Incineroar. And then we just double down into this bad boy with Choice Span stopping attention. We are minus one, but Garchomp still should be hitting rather hard, right? Choice Span kind of negating a lot of that Intimidate stuff and things. So stopping tantrum flies. Like I said, still doing good damage. Of course you got the berry. And you're probably going to be putting me to sleep. You're probably putting me to sleep, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, Amoogus ain't really doing too much 1v3. But bye-bye Incineroar. Get it on out my face. Actually, are we... Did we lose a Pokemon yet? Yeah, no, we lost Corviknight. We made that read, and we lost Corviknight. But he ended up trying to heal up his Incineroar. It is going to end up failing. That's going to be game, set, match. I guess we'll just go for another Hyper Voice and we'll go for Stomp and Catch'em. That should be enough damage to win this game. They cancel it. We're 1-1. One one. It is time for our final match. And of course, we got to end off the video going up against a Regulation GT. They're rocking out with Lugia. They got Comfy on top of that. They got Arch Ludon, Pelipper, and then me, Alstick, and Serena over here. This one is going to be ridiculously hard for us. I mean, I do have Wimscott and I could Encore like Lugia in like Calm Mind. But then things get honestly scary from there. I could just go into my Weather Squad, but then they can bring Pelipper. We don't want to deal with Pelipper. We really don't want to deal with Pelipper. But I still like these two. I really do. So I'm going to go into them as our lead. They could fake me out. They could go into Weather. They could go into like Lugia Comfy. That could be an option. But I just like these two right here. So I'm going to go into Guitar, Garchomp. I think going into Arcanine could actually really help us out here. Just due to that Choice Scarf being very fast. And last but not least, I mean, going into Corviknight, probably our best bet. This one's going to be hard. This one is going to be a hard matchup for us. We are sitting 1-1. One one. We had a decent first match. Ended up losing. Second match, we killed it. Making some big time reason. Now, going up against a regulation G team. I don't know. Might lose this one. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we win this one. End off the video dumping on Lugia. Be a good time for us. Be a great time for us. But let's see who they lead. Is it going to be Comfy Lugia? I kind of like... Hope so. Let's see. No, it's going to be Serena over here with Arch Ludon. So we're just going to swap into Weather. We already know that. Um, I'm just going to swap my T-Tar into Corvo and drop an EQ. Actually, probably not EQ. Rather Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to go into Corvo here. Just be able to reset our Weather and then just go into Stomping Tantrum into this slot. I like it. I like it. But you got to be swapping into Pelipper here. Unless you just didn't bring Pelipper. So I'll swap T-Tar, save our weather for later. Garchomp's going to be choice ban. I, hopefully this Arch Ludon is just, you know, staying its typing because I'd love to hit this thing hard with Stomping Tantrum. And it is. And no swapping into the Pelipper either. The Stomping Tantrum, ripping. Absolutely ripping. You get that stamina boost, but the damage is awesome. Bullet Seed going to launch here into you. Can you KO him, please? Your load dice. Oh my god, you got a crit too. Can you KO this Arch Ludon? Dude, I lose it. That'd be awesome. No, it's doing way too, too... It's not doing enough damage. I think you gotta be body pressing the, the Corviknight slot, though. I think you gotta be, right? He's stamina boosted. What, he plus five now? Oh my lord, he's dumping on anybody. Body press here. Good thing it's not very effective. Oh, Rocky Helm is gonna KO. Okay, bye-bye, Archer Ludon. Bye-bye, Archer Ludon. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Good swap on RN. A normal body press would have just KO'd our T-Tar. A normal body press. So, hot start for us. Good swaps. We got Weather back. If he goes into Pelipper, we'll just swap right back into T-Tar. And yeah, we're going to swap right back into T-Tar. Not playing no games, man. We're not playing no games. Actually, I could stay in here with Brave Bird if I want to. But, I simply cannot allow you to have Weather. 
I'm gonna do that, and I am guess I'll just go for Stomp and catch him into Serena over here. I'd rather not swap my guard shop. Because I honestly I think we could do decent damage, even though it's not very effective. Serena's not that bulky. So I'm hoping we can kinda like half it down in damage. And I put up my sand bell as well, so maybe we could dodge a shot. The sand stream back up in our favor. Stomp and catch we're gonna launch. Show me half damage. Hmm. Not what I wanted. Bullets are gonna fly here and it's going to do respectable damage, especially with Loaded Dice hitting four or five times. All right. So is Guard Chomp dead here? Are they going to double down and Chomp? Hoping I was able to, like, Sand Veil at least one of these moves. Let's see. Oh, you're hitting five times as well. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. So there's that. Sand Veil me. Tailwinds. Okay. The Tailwinds here, they got some speed on. Um, could swap Chomp because I would think that they want to go for... I could definitely swap Chomp. I could Terra Flying and just take out Serena over here. You might swap and swap Pelipper. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and just honestly hard swap into you. We set our choice ban. We still have Choice Scarf Arcanine. You have Quick Claw? What, 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 what do you have Quick Claw for? I feel like on the on the casual ladder, I just see a bunch of Quick Claw users. And it's just like, why? But one good thing I've seen so far is no Lugia. So, so far, respect to this opponent. But if they brought Lugia, that respect goes away. That respect would go away. But I go Flying Terror here because I think Bullet Seed is honestly going to fly into the slot. Or a Weather Ball, one or the other. Actually, Weather Ball would KO us now. That's actually scary. He's going to end up Y Garden, which is totally fine. That's a waste of a turn. And show me Bullet Seed into Corviknight, actually. No, it's into this slot. So good Terror on R. Great Terror on R. Great terror on iron. So we gotta waste out some Tailwind turns. We're gonna say bye bye to Serena over here. Um, Pelper's still on the field. Weather Ball now is super effective onto my T Tar, which is scary. It's definitely scary. This thing's hitting five times again. The luck of the loaded dice. Terror Blast launches. Bye bye to this thing. We did already get rid of Pelper's Focus Ash, which is good news. And he can't change up weather anymore, which is even better. Can't swap it in or out. Um,. Okay. So far, so good. Well, if it's launched around, I actually only hit Pelper, which is good news. I, know, I forgot. T Tar's now a flying type and it takes Puffins. <laughs> Gets me every time. Let's see who their final Pokemon is, and it is going to be Meowstic. Now, good thing it's a support Pokemon. I can't really do too much. I could go for Knockoff. I'd rather just go for Stone Edge here. And I'd rather try to Roost and get back some HP. If you're going to attack my T Tar, I'd rather just boost up on some HP right now. And they just cancel match. I thought they were going to fake out. Maybe take a shot here. But we go 2-1 for today's video. I got to give some huge respect to our third and final opponent. Not bringing their restricted Pokemon, Lugia. Because we didn't have a restricted Pokemon. So, huge round of applause to him. Wish there was more people like you. But, we rocked out with today's team. Going 2-1, dominating with T-Tar and Garchomp. And Primarina, who I absolutely loved using today. We didn't get to use Arcanine, but I did bring it in the third and final match. And Corviknight was also a star of today's team. Just doing big time damage, bulking up his defense. All that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me today. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.